Hi there, thanks for signing up for Draft Dashboard. My name is Chris. I'm going to show you how to use the Draft Dashboard tools to improve your daily fantasy player picks and your daily fantasy lineups. The first thing you want to do when you load Draft Dashboard is you want to find the top daily fantasy players that are playing today. To do that, click on the top players tool. This page shows all the fantasy players that are playing today. They're sorted by dash rank. Each player's dash rank is based on daily fantasy matchups, recent scoring history, and other important statistics. On a scale of 0 to 100, the dash rank represents the chance this player has to score big fantasy points in today's game. So now I'm going to show you how to read the player lines. The first and most important thing is the dash rank, and that's the chance that the player is going to score a big game. Next is the matchup ranking based on all 30 teams. 1 is the hardest matchup and 30 is the easiest matchup. I'll go over this in more detail later. Next is the player's injury status and home and away game status. This icon shows how well the player has done in the past week. Red flame means they're hot and scoring a lot of points. Outside the dash rank, the second most important thing to check is the player's scoring history. This shows the fantasy points per game for the past three games. The activity log shows how many innings pitched or at bats the player has got in the past three games. If the player's a batter, you'll see the batting average. If they're a pitcher, you'll see their earned run average. You can see more stats on bigger screens. By default, top players are sorted by draft dash rank, which means you're already looking at all the best players to play today. I'm gonna sort the players by DFS salary so we can see the highest priced players. The pitcher icon shows the average batting salary of the team they are pitching against. A green pitcher icon means they are facing a low salary team that should be easy to strike out. A red pitcher icon means they are facing a high salary team with lots of batting talent, maybe hard to score points. A yellow pitcher icon means they are facing average batting talent, could go either way. A red batter icon means they are facing a high salary pitcher, gonna be hard to hit the ball. A green batter icon means they're facing a low salary pitcher, much easier to get hits and home runs. Now that you know what everything means, let's go back to the top players page sorted by the draft dash rank. So we're looking at all the top players to play today. Now you can open up your favorite daily fantasy site and create a lineup using the top players as your bread and butter. Use the search box to find and compare players you're thinking about playing. When you get down to the last position in your lineup, you're going to have the option between a few different players. So use this tool to compare players and you'll find it really helps to improve your picks. Running low on salary? Use the sleepers tool to find low cost productive players. This page only shows low salary players who are scoring really well over the last week of play. Playing these low cost players will open up your salary cap for the higher priced players that will score you a ton of points. Use the Find Studs tool to find low-risk, proven players that you can build your daily fantasy lineups around. This page only shows the best of the best, top-ranked talent with optimal matchups and amazing recent scoring history. So that's the easiest way to use Draft Dashboard. If you have more time, I want to show you how to use the Lineup Optimizer to create lineups using the best players. The Lineup Optimizer generates a base lineup filling all required positions to enter a DFS contest. We're only using $47,700 of the total $50,000 salary. Each player will show how many upgrades are available based on your remaining salary. Hover over or tap the player's dash rank to see the full details. Find the lowest dash rank to upgrade first. When you click the list of upgrades, you'll see all the players that you can play in that fantasy position. Red salary means you will go over the cap, and green salary means it's within your budget. We still have money left over, so let's continue to upgrade players with low dash ranks. You can spend as little or as much time finding different combinations of players. I like to try to maximize the dash rank of each player as much as possible. Keep upgrading until you're near your max salary. If you have time, go through each of the players scoring history before you commit to playing them. The scoring history will show you exactly how many fantasy points they got in each of the last seven games. Now, save your lineup. You don't want to lose it. You can access your saved lineups using the My Saved Lineups page. Here you'll see all your saved lineups with the total projected points and the options to load the lineup into the optimizer, export it to your favorite daily fantasy site, or delete it if you don't want it anymore. If you want to make a lineup around your favorite player, find that player in the tools and then click the Watch Player icon. This player is now added to your watch list. Your watch list is a list of all the players you marked as wanting to play in your lineups today. 
your watch players will be forced into new lineups that you generate using the lineup optimizer. This lets you generate a bunch of lineups around as many watch players as you want. If you want to save time, we have a feature that automatically watches the top daily fantasy players for the day. In your watched players page, click the auto watch top players button. The best players will be watched instantly. Now you can use the lineup optimizer to generate lineups using a big list of the top daily fantasy players. There's some other tools and daily fantasy tips and tricks I want to show you later. Now you know the draft dashboard basics and you should be able to improve your daily fantasy picks and lineups. Don't get bummed out if you don't crack a winning lineup on your first try. There's no way to see the future. Luck in the games will always dictate how many points a player can score. Over time, using these tools to check your players will give you the best chance at creating winning lineups. Thanks for watching this video on how to use Draft Dashboard. You can always watch it again by clicking on the help button. Thanks again and good luck in your games.